That's the sound that filled Hawk Island Park in Lansing today. Racers rowing to the beats, trying to be the first to cross the finish line. And with teams of 20, I asked competitors how they stay on the same page. There's a drummer in the front and their job is to echo and to follow along with the pace of the boat and make sure everybody can hear it. Then we have the pacers, which is row one, two, and three, and their job is to set the rate. Row four, five, six are the engine room, which is again where your weight is and your power. The last few rows are the rockets and their job is just to put that extra little bit and just keep keep going and keep going, keep going. Leah Champ came from Canada to compete today and she's ready to live up to her last name. She's not new to the dragon boat, competing in places like China, Hungary, and Singapore. I use it to make friends and keep doing stuff, but it's also a really good sport for all ages. And all ages did show up today. Everett High School came out to compete. I, I think it's a great outreach for our community also, and it's just a great time for ev everyone in the community to connect and just have a good time together. The origins of dragon boat racing run deep. It originated in China um, as a tribute to a young warrior um, who the community just really wanted to love and rally around. And there are benefits to the sport as well. There was a study done that women who have had breast cancer and have gone through mastectomies, um, one of the best methods of exercise for them to build up muscle and tissue in the chest area is actually rowing. The five hour competition ended around three with the winning team F45 training receiving a prize. Proceeds from the event will go to the Women's Center of Greater Lansing. Organizers say they hope to double the number of teams competing in next year's race. Here for you in Lansing, Rachel Ramsey, 6 News.